Hello everybody, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. I am Yasha of Sisterhood of Exmataz, and I am back! Woohoo! I'm in my own place. I will give a slight, sort of a tour when I finally get everything settled in and moved. But right now, let's continue with the madness. Where we left off, we are playing a character named Daniel, a British alcoholic assassin and slash archaeologist part-time. So, and we're stuck in a castle in Prussia. There's a dude named Alexander, and we're supposed to kill him. Why? We don't know. Just kill him. Don't give any instructions to kill a man, just kill him. Because that makes sense. And I'd figure for this part, I'd just maybe to fill in the blanks until something interesting actually happens, I could discuss X-Men related things and x Mataz stuff and whatever comes to the randomness in my head. Be very afraid. Okay. How do I... I have the instructions written on here. It's been so long since I played this and I'm not used to these controls. Throw. Uh, left. Success! I threw a thing at it! <laughs> oh, huzzah. But wait, there's places and things to explore. Oh, goody. And if the screen appears way too dark for you, I am so sorry. I tried fixing it. I really did. I don't know what I did wrong, it's the gamma thing, it always makes it look so much darker than it actually is, so if you guys can't see it more than usual, I am so sorry, I will try to fix it as much as I can, but so far this is how, how we got a deal. Oh, come on, open up, you piece of... <gasps> treasure! Betty treasure! Oh, goody. I hear piano and yet I don't hear Billy Joel being played. Much of the castle is old centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We just buy time anyway. Let's do what Oh, we thank can. God, a map. Tell there me, where the fuck am I? The we this tells me nothing! The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Nope, nothing in there. I really do hate these flashbacks. I don't believe that's how flashbacks work. They don't flash things in your... Look what you did, Lance. Look what you did. You... That's gonna come out of your paycheck, buddy. That's coming out of your allowance. The... Oh, I pressed the lean button by mistake. I was like, what? Is he having an epileptic seizure again? No. Okay. See, the drawer. Ugh, these drawers are the beat of my existence. Ugh. Tinder box. Mine. Nope. Over here. Nope. There's a book. That's not gonna help me. How do I crouch? Nope. How do I? How do I move? Oh, enough, big baby. He's having a seizure. Okay. 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, dude, don't the go in the light! It was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. This doesn't look suspicious at all. Let's touch it. What will happen? Closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers. I touched the glowing stick of destiny? Oh my god, no! The alien memories of spiraling towers, endless <clears throat> deserts, and impossible geometry. So basically thing geometry. I remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So he touched the glowing stick of destiny, and he got transported to Valhalla, let's just say. 
and he saw things, and he has an orb in his hand, so that's what happened. When will you learn not to touch things, Daniel? Ah! You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. And I'm looking at nothing. Ah! <sighs> I hate these flashbacks and blind me! Okay, where the fuck am I going? Okay, here. Let's just light some lamps. I am not going to use my lantern unless I really, really need to because I know this movie screws you over and how much oil you have. So I'm not gonna waste it. Yep, okay. Alright, a note. Let's see what it says. Local folklore. Uh, local fo folklore, sorry. Alright. I think I'm gonna read these notes in different voices, so let's just see how long this goes for before I get bored. Local folklore. I all started in the Bread and Bird Castle 1801. Another region rich in his lore is Alstad. Deep within the East Russian woods, <laughs> for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed in the scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should be include themselves in such conversations. And con conversations, yeah, sorry. Since it will be certainly severe, blah, 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 blah. I'm bored. If you want to read this, you can read this. And it's still going, my god! The gatherers, blah, 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 blah. If you want to read this, you can pause this and read this. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep going. Visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, how long does this go for? Okay. So, oh my god! Order of the Black Eagle. The, the Order of Prussia. The Great Prussia! Okay, I'm supposed to move things to open a door. I'm just gonna light these things. I can always find little more tinder boxes, but I can't. Oh, there's a glowing door. I guess I'm supposed to move that. Okay, moving shell, bookshelves. I wonder if it's important. Pull. Let me do it. Let me do it. Nope. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oil! Oil, oil, oil! <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I kind of swallowed my own spit there. Okay. Oh, lovely, it's an office. Oh, okay, it's important. Rifling doors first. Nope. <gasps> Note. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough. And with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Human vessels. Oh, only good things can come of this. Their sheriff is keeping an watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brunnenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. This Alexander is a lovely man! Maybe I will feed them some wine. It, is, it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Oh, this Alexander, you are a doll. An absolute gem. In the hall of douchebags! Alright. Ah! Okay, that one got me! That one got me! I am a total wimp when it comes to horror, so, and I'm playing a horror game, so when the horror does happen, you will be entertained! And I'll be terrified! <laughs> Oh, look, a way out. How the fuck do I get out of here? Nope. Oh, come on. Nope, 
but okay, how the hell do I get out of here? Where's the way out? Yeah, what helps with horror games is that uh, there's people living above me. This is a basement suite, so and the floors creak like mad, so my paranoia will be all around. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a fake. No. Okay, no, it's a fake. It has to be a fake. I am just gonna run. I am not even gonna try to find. I'm just gonna run. I am running the fuck away. Just get me out of here now. Oh god. It's it was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Han awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. These interludes made no sense. Strikes again. <laughs> oh, lovely. Only good things can come of this. Alright, how am I doing? No, that's the wrong button. Alright, health is all good. Sanity head pounding and hand is shaking. I have seven bottles of oil. Not much oil. Journal. Uh, Daniel's note to self. Da -da -da -da. Local folklore. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, nope. No mementos. Okay, how do I get out of here? No. Okay. Alright, now we have the laboratory or the wine cellar. Both sound equally fun. And by fun, I mean terrifying! Alright, let's just go to the wine cellar first. Oh. Nope, wrong button. Stupid fucking controls. The desert dunes were like waves in the sluggish area, in the sluggish sea, while the cavern, while the caravan moves, moved the land appeared motionless, but in camp the hills moved. I can't read today. I don't know why. I just ate. I have no idea why I can't read today. Standing in darkness, yeah, I know. Because Daniel is a pussy! A pussy! I have more balls than him! But not right. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine the last of a lifetime! Or at least the dirt of On, you piece of shit. Alright, I think that's what I'm supposed to grab, but I don't want to grab it right now because things will happen. Only bad things will happen. Like that. Like that. Okay. Let's just move slowly. I want to get the fuck out of here right now. Did he say Mr. Bean? I I didn't I didn't catch that. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Oh, here's a light. What is with that sound? Seriously, that sound is just, ugh. Ooh, what's this? Awesome. Okay, there's nothing to be had. <gasps> Tinderbox! Tinderbox! Where? Come here! Is there anything up here? Nope. Ah! Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna grab the thing and I'm gonna leave. Oh, come on. Oh 
Oh, get up, you pansy. Ah, just wasted a tinder box. Fantastic. Okay, I'm lighting a torch. Yeah, by the way, that crackling sound is his sanity going. They couldn't have figured out a better noise. Sounds like some fat ass just eating his Pringles. Ooh, I be Earthbender. Okay, how the hell do I move this? Get out of my way. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Out of my way! Move it! No! Fuck, I hate these controls. <laughs> I'm always used to using left my arrow keys to move around, and the camera was never... It automatically moved it. Yeah, the only computer games I've ever played in my life are like, uh... Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, get the fuck out of my way! Ugh. As I was saying, the only computer games I've ever played in my life were the Harry Potter games. Ironically, because I'm not a big, huge fan of Harry Potter, and yet I was the first one to ever beat them. I beat the first game first, and I beat the second game first, and the third one, my brother beat it. And I haven't played the other Harry Potter games since. Oh, come on. I, for fuck's sakes. Oh, get the fuck out of my way. You just... Oh, for fuck's sakes, get... Get the fuck out of my way! even. Oh, wonderful. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something. Except that we're not getting right. Okay, something happened here, and I'm going to figure out what. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gren Gerrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the House of Brandenburg. As most of the across, of the across the sea, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a pro proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was solid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of my follies of my past, and not the honors I was rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was, I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my pro position with within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but I came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brandenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of which were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had suspicions that we had descended to the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak. I fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced for their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against a God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from mine eyes, and I can no longer. So he made them explode? He made them explode from the inside out. 
I think it's safe to assume we want to kill Alexander. Because this is not okay. In here? Nope, just baskets. Okay, so... Alexander's a dick. And I think we will call this apart. Because I don't want to go anymore. I'm a little bit afraid, so I'm just gonna call it quits now. So I'll see you in the next episode.